Hey everyone, um, managing spam and blenders and invasions is probably one of the most difficult things and one of the most complained about topics from newer invaders and it's not easy. I've been invading a while and it's not like I never die to them. So for this first one, I'm going to start off by showing you what not to do. So here we have a flat open area that they're going to take full advantage of after I grab my two flash here. And they're starting off with Rot Breath, which is always a fun time. And there's the Wave of Gold. So I start off like an idiot trying to go up there and fight them in the open. Which is a terrible idea. And I completely miss those inputs up. So by this point I'm starting to realize that fighting here is not in my best interest. And I'm thinking about going back to where I entered this little platform at and taking some cover. Alright, I don't really have the time to heal there, but I didn't have much of a choice. And the Phantom's pressuring me with fist weapons. Uh, Power Stance Nagakiba, it's great at vortexing and getting off quick burst damage. But it sucks against people that play mashy weapons like Fists or Shamshir. So I swapped to the Stormhawk Axe there because the Phantom wanted to pressure me. And the Stormhawk takes advantage of that. Then swapped to the Halberd to finish him off. And at this point the, fan or the host is really kind of flailing. I wanted to grab that backstab but I messed up. But I get that one when they try to heal to finish out the invasion. For this next clip, we have two Colossal Sword users. And with no real read on the latency, I decide to uh, switch to a Colossal Sword myself as well. Just because if they want to trade, at least they'll get staggered too. I was pretty sure he saw me, but, you know, swing the shot. Now, I tried to hyper armor through that. I thought I could, but that's not really how that works. So at that point, it looked like if I wanted to run to this bridge straight, I'd get blended. So I ran around the building and took a jump. So... The host seemed to want to keep spamming Destined Death. You can endure through it for a free backstab. He didn't that time, but got a backstab anyway. So on bridges like this, you have three good options. The first is Radon Sword. If you can get them off, then you can get a quick gravity kill. The other is a great bow. And then the third is what I decided to pick here, which is Blasphemous Blade. They don't have many places to run to avoid it, so you can kind of just spam it down the bridge, and you'll hit at least one. <coughs> here I wanted to check to see if the Phantom was awake, which he was, and then decided to take two Bolt of Grandsack, Grandsack Spears to the face, which just leaves the host. So now I see the host is using Power Stance Katanas. And to be honest, I kind of wanted to get a pretty finish. But at a certain point, it just starts becoming embarrassing how many parries I miss. That one due to latency. 
so I decide to just finish up the hoax quick and get the invasion over with. This third invasion doesn't include much magic spam, but all of the host's party are using weapons that could very easily blunder. We have power can curb sword here. You know, I assumed he wanted the running attack, so I did a quick swap to the Stormhawk to try to catch him. But with the Phantom there, it doesn't really become viable to finish him off. So Surrounded like that, Storm Assault's a good way just to relieve some pressure. Here I'm swapping to the Bloodhound's death dagger just so I can essentially run and try to get some cover and distance and hopefully separate. So at this point I'm looking around at the environment and I notice there's a lot of ledges. So I'm swapping to the grafted greatsword here to get the quick buff. And I was pretty sure there was more ground on the other side of this, but I wasn't completely sure, so coming up here I have to take a gamble. Since if I stayed on there, I would have quickly been rendered. And here I'm trying to drag him off the edge. Which after the second star call or cry, both one of the phantoms and the hosts go down. For this last clip, it starts off fairly tame, but once a few blues show up, it quickly gets out of hand. So I see the host down there in the corner, and I'm hoping to just hit a quick rain of arrows to take him out. And the rock breath comes in, so I quickly realize that if I go down there, I'm going to get blendered. So here I'm just trying to get a lock on so I can... take one out and the phantom decides to come up and I notice he's using a great shield so I switch to the large club. Royal Knight's Resolve on a large club two-handed with a heavy attack will almost always break a shield guard as you can see there. Uh, the hammer talisman it can also break the fingerprint shield. As soon as one phantom goes down the blue shows up. And he starts spamming Core Frost Stomp. So uh, that's fun. At this point, I was thinking of switching to the Hurtree Great Shield since the host was using uh, the Destined Death knife. So, you can back, just walk through and backstab the Warfrost Stomp. I missed it there. And the blue comes in with Comet Spam. At that point, it's not really viable to stay on this level. So, I attempt to take the elevator here to go down. I assumed they'd swing, and I couldn't really dodge without getting off the elevator. So, I blocked with the Great Shield. At this point, I realize I'm out of heals and kind of need to take a gamble. They seemed more interested in killing me than progressing the level, so I assumed they'd be up on the corner here and switch to the Star Scourge Greatsword. And I use that as I come up to take out both the blues, leaving just the host left. For whatever reason, he decided to use the region incantation there, then hold it, giving me a free backstab. 
Ledge there messed up my lightning ram. So at this point, I'm getting a little ticked with the uh, flaming strike, so I switched to the, the Guts Great Sword so I can hyper on the Druid. He's playing a very cagey game. I'm not good enough at animation blending to really fight someone who just wants to panic roll away with it. And I just want the invasion to be over, so I switched to power scan spears here to take out the host. So those are a few invasions where spam and blenders were prominent and how I use the environment to get around that. In general, people say all the time Elden Ring's a cover shooter and you have to act like it is, especially whenever magic spam gets involved. You have to make some separation and get some barrier between you guys. If nothing else, so you can get some breathing room and, and time to think and come up with a plan but those are a few invasions where i had to deal with it and how i got around it so thank you guys for watching and let me know if there's any topics or things you'd like me to go over and give general strategies of what i like to do in certain situations